Pipers, this is Nehla with the Middle School Pulse from the American Community School of Abu Dhabi. I'm Nicholas, and this episode number 21, and today is May 12, 2019. You want to know what's going on within the walls of this school? You want to see the courageous ones get up and do something cool? We are the Middle School Pulse And fun is what we're all about We are the Middle School Pulse When you feel it, get up and shout Hey! 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 Alright, let's start things off with a segment we call Reminders that should be in your phone Coming up this Wednesday, Thursday, there is the Art Walk that is sponsored by the Middle School Art Students. It will be in the main corridor near the Middle School school entrance. If you post a selfie next to your favorite artwork, we could feature you in our next episode. Just use the hashtag ACSMSPulse. Coming up this next week is the clothing drive for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So start going through your closets and get rid of those items that no longer fit or you just don't like anymore. This is a great way to help out this organization and show the world that an ACS student can make a difference. And now here is our principal with this episode's What's on the Principal's Mind. Hello, my middle school vipers. This week I've been thinking a lot about the Green Planet word of reducing, especially paper here at ACS Middle School. Did you know that our school uses over 16,000 sheets of paper each month? So today I would like to challenge students and teachers to come up with ways to reduce the paper that they use every day here at the school. Together we can reduce our paper usage and help make our planet a little greener. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in our next episode of What's on the Principal's Mind. You just never know what goes on in the mind of our principal. Now let's continue with three strange questions for a teacher. Hello, I'm Yusuf from 6th grade, and today our lucky teacher who gets to play three strange questions for a teacher is... Hello, my name is John Smith, and I teach underwater basket weaving here at ACS Middle School. Alright, let's get started with question number one. If you could take a one-month trip to anywhere in the world, and money was no object, where would you go, and what would you do? I've always wanted to go to Peru and sleep in this capsule that hangs off the side of a cliff. Uh, and then I would just go exploring Peru for a month. If you were at a friend's house for dinner and you found a dead bug in your salad, what would you do? i got a pretty strong stomach, so I should probably uh, eat the big and pretend like nothing happened. If you went to a movie with a friend and it was lousy, would you leave? Probably not. I mostly go to movies for the popcorn. Great answers. Thanks a lot for playing three strange questions for a teacher. You're welcome. Wow, you never know what you'll find out about the teachers from that segment. Now for a little fun, let's check in with the Pop Culture Quiz Show. Hello everyone, I'm Bree and welcome to the Pop Culture Quiz Show, where I am joined by... Shadi. And... Isaac. Who are going to compete to see which one knows more about pop culture. The rules are simple. You each have 15 seconds to write down as many answers as you can to the categories that we ask you. Are you both right? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's begin. Category number one, movies, titles, and contains Mr. Miss and Mrs. 15 seconds, go! 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Moving on, category number 2. So, celebrity chefs or cooks, 15 seconds, go! 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up! 
And now for the our last category, reality shows. 15 seconds. Go! 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. So, let's see how many answers you have. Two, two, and two. Let's see how many you have. One, two, and two. As you can see, today's winner is Shadi. Woo! Yeah, Coming up after the break, results from the Sumo Bots. Will Team Fluffy Bunny keep the top spot? Do you want to start your day off right? Then you need the acai bowl that is available at Nectar in the middle school courtyard. Acai is a berry that comes all the way from Brazil, and this superfood is packed full of good things for your body, like antioxidants and vitamins. Make it the perfect start to your day. Try it today for only 15 AED. And we're back with this episode's Backstage Report to get you caught up on all the craziness that happened here at the Backstage. Hello everyone, I'm Maliki with this episode of the Backstage Report for 6th grade. This week in Sumabots, Team Fluffy Bunny remains undefeated for the third week in a row. I checked in with the team captain, Hattie, to see about their secret to their success. Secret? There's no secret, we've just got the best programming and the best design. I don't think we'll ever get beaten. There you have it, folks. Team Fluffy Bunny thinks that they're invincible. But I'm here with the awful crunchers, and they think that they have what it takes to beat the Fluffy Bunnies. For the past three weeks, Fluffy Bunny has been destroying their competition in what has come to be known as the Circle of Death. One by one, challengers have taken them on, only to leave defeated. But could this week be different? This is Millie, and this is Jenna and they are here to challenge the reign of Fluffy Bunny. They said that their programming is far superior to that of Fluffy Bunny. Team Awful Crunchers also have an added secret weapon that they say is going to send Fluffy Bunny hopping off in fear. So check back in our next update to see who will be the Sumo Bot Champion. I'm Jamie with this week's backstage report from the seventh grade. In the video game coding, challenge teams were asked to recreate the famous and very successful game of Flappy Bird. However, when it came time for the elementary testers, many teams fell short. This one's way too hard. It wasn't anything like the original. I couldn't even get my game to work. This is way too easy. But there was one that the testers loved. This one's really fun to play. It's even better than the real one. So this week's entry into the Coding Hall of Fame is, the, is called the Lucky Monsters Team for their near perfect recreation of the fun and original Flappy Bird. I'm, doing I'm Rashid with the 8th grade backstage report. This week we're, we're in the singing studio to check out Ellie who is recording a cover of Good Old Days. For demos she's sending to a school in the States to, for, ent for entry into the summer singing camp. She let me set up my camera in the singing studio, so let's listen in. Hi, I'm Ellie Jones. I'm 14 years old. I was born and raised in Westchester, Ohio, but I've also lived in the country of Panama, the state of Illinois, and the state of Florida. And some of my musical performances in the past was I've been in a play called West Side Story, and I've also been in a play called Beauty and the Beast. Um, I've been singing ever since I can remember, but in the past three years, I've really gained interest in it. And last year, I performed in a singing competition in Costa Rica. I've been dancing for 12 years now. I do jazz, hip hop, lyrical, tap, and ballet, but right now I'm focusing on hip hop and jazz. I'm on a cross country team. I do Model United Nations. I've been playing piano for seven years, and I'm fluent in Spanish. told me that someday these would be the good old days all the love you won't forget all these reckless nights you won't regret someday soon you'll 
whole life's gotta change You'll miss the magic of these good old days I was thinking about the bands, I was thinking about the fans We were underground, loaded merch in that 12 passenger van In a small club in Minnesota, in the snow outside the first app I just wanted my name and star Wow, she sounds great to me, and we wish her the best of luck with her entry. Now here is the report from our international news feed. A beached whale found in the Philippines on Saturday died with 88 pounds of plastic trash inside its body, an unusually large amount even with its grim standards of what is a common threat to marine wildlife. The 1,100-pound whale measuring 15 feet long was found in the town of Mabini with more than 40 pounds of plastics inside its stomach, along with a variety of other disposable plastic products. Ingesting plastic gives whales a false sensation of fullness without providing any of the nutrients they need. It leads to reduced weight, energy, and swimming speed, making them more vulnerable to predators. They have no way of digesting or expelling the plastic. Thank you for that report. Now let's go to three strange questions for a student. Hello, I'm Noor from 6th grade, and today our lucky student who gets to play three strange questions for a student is... I'm Natalie, and I'm from 6th grade. Alright, let's get started with question number one. What is your favorite food? Cotton candy cupcakes. If you could have chosen your own first name, what would it be? Chloe Taylor. What would you put inside a time capsule to be opened in 100 years? A book of the history. Great answer. Thanks a lot for playing. Three strange questions for a student. Wow, those are some strange questions. Come back after the break and we'll be checking on our show's hashtag to see what you've been up to with Feedback Loop. Scrolling through our Instagram feed from this past week, and here are some of the things I found under our hashtag ACSMS Pulse. Team Fluffy Bunny destroyed my robot! Well, that's what you get when you put your robot in a circle of death with the Fluffy Bunny. Duh. You should interview Haruka next for the sushi questions. Way to throw them under the bus. Alright, we'll add them to the list. Thanks for promoting the art walk. You're very welcome. We love supporting the arts here at MS Pulse. When do I get to be on the show? The quick answer is never. Just kidding, soon. The quiz show needs to give them more time to answer. I'll talk with the producers about giving them each five more seconds, okay? Great comments and ideas. So if you have something to say about our show, just use the hashtag ACSMS Pulse on Instagram and you might be in the next episode. Now it's time to see what's happening around our school. It's worth checking out. The first thing on my list of worth checking out is the Lou Wabu Dhabi hosting a teen art exhibition that features the work of art made by famous artists when they were teenagers. Somehow, I don't think my fruit bowl from last semester will be there, but I think it's still worth checking out. This week down on the Corniche, there will be a performance by the indie band Sainted Invitation. These guys really know how to rock, so get there early to get a good spot. They go on each night at 8 p.m., so get your homework done early and check them out. Thanks for the info. Now it is time to sharpen your tech skills with a segment simply called Student Tech Tips. Oh, if you're like me, you probably hate coming up with new passwords. And we all know that we should never use the same password more than once. So tip number one is always use some sort of password keeper like in your notes or something like that. Thanks, guys. And tip two is to use the website dynapass.com to generate a new password for you. Research has shown that by using two unrelated words and a number, that it is one of the most safest passwords you can have. Dinopass.com does exactly that, and if you need one with a symbol in it, then there is that option as well. Just don't forget to put it in the password keeper. Thanks for the tech tip. Now a word from one of our show sponsors. has never 
been more lively and fun than in the Big Bad Musical. This smart and wickedly funny musical is fun for the whole family. And the best part is that you, the audience, gets to be the jury to decide the outcome of the biggest trial ever in the fairy tale world. Come see the middle school drama class tell the story of how the notorious Big Bad Wolf is being slapped with a class action lawsuit by the storybook of quirky characters who want to get even. Tickets are on sale now for performances that run the week of June 1st. And it's time we check in with what is happening with ACS Middle School Sports. This past week in sports, here at ACS Middle School, we saw the boys basketball team lose to the visiting ASD Falcons 92-108. to Maybe next time, Vipers. The girls volleyball team did beat the British International School with a score of three games to two last Saturday here at ACS. Congrats to our girl volleyball players. And I had a chance to talk to their captain, Lou Jane, and here is what she said about the tournament. They won the first two games in a row, so we were really worried that this was gonna be it for us, but we dug deep and ended up winning the next three in a row. My team really knows how to rally and never give up. Thanks for that score update. And now for our final report of the episode, here is the Pop Culture Report. For this episode of the Pop Culture Report, I'd like to talk about the upcoming movie, the live action remake of Aladdin. As many of you know, the upcoming live action Aladdin movie in theaters May 24th is based on Disney's 1992 animated film, which tells the Arabic folk tale of Aladdin and the Magic Lamp, a story about a, a street rat named Aladdin who finds a magic lamp and is granted three wishes by a genie and, well, you know the rest. Naomi Scott, the Indian-British actress who will star as the lead love interest, Princess Jasmine, who is forced by her father, the Sultan, to marry a prince instead of who she loves and chooses. The Egyptian-Canadian actor, Mena Masood, uh, who will star as the lead role of Aladdin, a street rat who finds a magic lamp that grants him three wishes, one of which is to become a prince so that the princess will fall in love with him. Critics have been quick to judge, but for me, I'm going. I want to see and judge for myself and I look forward to going and giving you my review soon. Thanks a lot for watching everyone. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel.